Hello everyone, Bleach Roman here, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 3, part of the Kingdom Hearts Chronological Marathon. As always, joined by a Bokutai fan right here. Hello. And, of course, by the Twitch chat, as you can see here. It is time to at last embark to our next destination. Nation, and we can actually place markers. Wait. Markers let you know where you're going. Called the waypoint. All oh, right. Yep. So yeah, we only still have the high wind level one for now, but here we go. Oh boy, I actually love the gummy sections here. They're... Pr I don't mind them in Kingdom Hearts 2. They're slow as hell in Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> but I will not deny that it kind of did get a little boring going through some of the routes a lot. I've grown to like uh, all of them. Even the slow ones. This is just my favorite ones. Probably just because I still like of how they do it for that. Shin Clank... Uh, Playing crack in time. <laughs> yeah, you can using the right bumper for both PS4 and Xbox One controllers. You can fly around B or whatever that is for the Xbox, um, Xbox PlayStation One will allow you to boost and A to shoot. Um, folks, I could probably explain the buttons for the. PS4 one as they're probably the same position as Xbox, just different button names. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> remember, I haven't played Gosh, this. Dude, this is why you have to remember the button layout on the controller. I haven't played this game in a long time. Just remember the button layout on the PS4 controller. That's pretty much it. I'm sure. I mean, what is <laughs> is attack actually triangle button in Kingdom Hearts 3 for PS? A four? Oh, yeah, uh, attack is L1, actually. <laughs> I know you're joking. Um, I mean, you, you, you say this, but I haven't played this game in a while, so I don't remember the button layout. I'd have to play it. I'm highly <laughs> positive it's the same as Xbox One. It's oh, I'm, I'm, I'm 99.9% .9 positive it's the same layout. Yeah. I just don't know the Xbox controller very well. You can actually avoid enemies. I just decided to show off one because why not? It's fun. And honestly, these gummy ship ones are pretty easy. Oh wait, it was actually L1? <laughs> Amazing. Wait, are you actually serious? <laughs> <laughs> it's L1 and X, according to Final. Oh my god! I feel he's joking, though. Anyway, if you're not sure where to go, you can just do. Oh, wrong button there. I was supposed to check <laughs> the map. map that... There. Uh, way to go, me. Amazing. But yeah. As you saw, I warped from here instead of there. That's because if I can actually... Nah, R2 and X. No, oh wait, no. Oh wait, zone map is the correct thing now I remember. You can actually place markers to like go to here. So it was actually the wrong, right thing. It's world map I didn't want to click. Ah. So my bad there. Waypoints are real nice. Yes, they are. I'm probably not gonna, tr gonna try and not go for all of them, but there is some things I'm gonna try and show for the early flights, because most of the time we are gonna just be stop, not gonna be bothering with the enemies if I can. Hey, crystals. Yeah, the crystals and rocks, they can give you stuff, 
These rocks I had to grind out for something, but we'll get to that much later. <laughs> when we actually can get the option to show that. And instead of heading the flag, I'm heading to this golden sphere because it's something else I wanted to show that you can do while flying around. Oh man. Here. They're so fun. This is pretty much like a treasure sphere. If you approach it and shoot it, you'll begin a mini game sort of where you have to just fly around it within a set time limit and shoot the pieces into place. They will lock into place automatically once they're right. I wish there were more of these. These are satisfying. <laughs> you know, these spheres remind me a lot of something from an old Disney movie that's a lot, I think a lot of people don't like, but it's actually kind of sort of a timeless classic. I didn't mind it that much, and I kind of wish it gets into a Kingdom Hearts game sometime. Okay. Hello, you know Kirby. Which... Welcome, you Kirby. If people know which... Oh, yes, thank you, you Kirby <laughs> actually mentioned it. Treasure Planet, yes. Treasure Planet is one of the old Disney movies I would like to see in here. There you go. Complete the thing, get a ton of experience points, and a bunch of items. Yep. Along with, uh, let's see, for old Disney movies, I would like to see Emperor's New Groove and Atlantis. Ooh. I would love to see an Emperor's New Groove, yeah. In terms of new Disney movies, uh, bi oh, wait, I like to see Coco and Zootopia sometime. I know some people say, but we've <laughs> already had, had a furry Sora in the Lion King world, like, there's something I can say, but that's spoilers. But people like some <laughs> trailers, but I'm still gonna be fair. Purple ones are unique. Purple crystals. Yep. They give you blueprints, and these you can just ride straight in if you want to get through faster. And we've arrived. <laughs> There's still some stuff Yay. we missed, like some spheres. One. I showed. Mm -hmm. I I showed some of the spheres one of the spheres off. I may get some of the other spheres off screen or on screen. They will vary depending what I'm doing out in space, but most of the bigger stuff, like actual boss battles that you will see in the next stream next week, will be saved for on screen. I'm going to be desperately trying to avoid them in space. Going back a bit, but um... I haven't seen Coco, but Zootopia is a good movie, so uh, I would love to see that. As a Dude, when I saw it in theaters, I was surprised at how, how strong the message was. <laughs> yeah. Coco is also really good, and it's easily my favorite Pixar film by Disney. Oh, man. I'll have to check it out then. <clears throat> Yeah, here we go, into Twilight Town. Maybe. Once it's done loading. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yeah, there are some things people have said about Twilight Town, but I'm going to hold those until we can actually explore a bit more. <laughs> Before I ask some of the viewers' thoughts and your thoughts. Oh, I have a thought ready to go. I have one ready to go immediately. Gorge. Gonna wait, but yeah. <laughs> I think I know what it is, but... It's the same one literally it. everyone else has. <laughs> I'm one of the few that does not have it. Mmm, I see. Why go stressing them out? The three of us know how to handle a couple of old adversaries, right? But doesn't that thing Pete said bother you? Come on, we're talking about Pete. That means it's probably no big deal. I don't know. Uh, I agree with Goofy. We don't know what's in that black box. Well, those have been paying attention to the Union Cross story, which I was actually thinking of stopping playing that phone game once the Keyblade War came up, and then I saw certain scenes being foreshadowed of some events, and I'm like, 
Damn it, Namora! <laughs> they do their best to make you keep on playing. I wanna be free of you, just cross! You don't... You don't get free from gacha games that easily. Once you're in, you're in. I do know hurt. Yeah, I know the feel because of one that I'm playing, but then again, that one has <laughs> another <laughs> problem that's more so they're rushing way too fast. Then the Japanese version has like two weeks for events. Their events that they have are like, oh, one week, next event. One week passes, next event. <laughs> Slow down! Amazing. <clears throat> Well, the only one I've, I'm want, I'm really wanting to play right now is Pokemon Masters. Yeah, I'm probably passing on that one. <laughs> so wait, if feel something, then we're in the right place. Roxas, I'm gonna find you. And we shall try, but uh oh, uh oh. And here's a part I may die a lot, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yep, links. This. I'm gonna try and save my links. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Oh jeez, okay, yep. Now, I think is not the time for Lynx yet still, because... Oh no, the, now is definitely the time for Lynx, because I see that sniper there. Oh man. So, Lynx are basically your summons of this game. And now's the time. They can do a half <laughs> heal. What was originally, though, a full heal before they patched it with the critical mode. Final says, flashbacks to your level 1 Zigbar fight. <laughs> oh god. <coughs> I probably did the finish too soon, but oh well, I guess. I'm sure it's fine. And let's just blast him with a Ragnarok. But yeah, here comes I'm, the problems I have with Link's, and it's what many have recently. As of the point of the current condition of Kingdom Hearts 3, they are spammable to heck. Ah. Like, look, my MP gauge, which is needed to start a Link, is already uh, gone. I can already do another Link. By that you mean your HP, your MP recovery is already done. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and this, unfortunately, is a problem many have with the game. Links are kind of the best option to get through the current condition of Kingdom Hearts 3. Hey. Am I gonna be? Am I gonna be spamming Links? No, because I can actually play it without doing it. But I am not ignoring this as an option that people are. Some people who try to argue don't use it, but yes and no. You don't have to use it, but does that mean it's not a problem? No. It still is a problem, unfortunately. Hey, sort of like Duel Links. <laughs> Wait, are Duel Links really that overpowered in uh, Dream Drop Distance? I just haven't noticed. Have you have you not seen how I just creamed the, uh, the boss rush? Oh. Well, you were using links separately, not dual links. Not dual links, but like. I'm pretty sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna Just make links this clear. Actually, they're broken for Sora, not for Riku. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sucks to be Riku. Yeah, it's fine with me. I like the challenge. <laughs> I mean, if I'm if I'm gonna be overpowered, I may just well go oh, play, hello. right? Oh, hello! This guy's familiar. Hey, and with new outfits too. 
Not those three. I mean the thing that's chasing them. I mean, those three are much cooler than the thing that's chasing them anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, Hello. Now is a good Bye. time to actually, hopefully, get something right. So yeah, I'm going to use Lynx sparingly, but it might change when we get to a certain world in particular. I'm not looking forward to that one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Counter Shield. This is Guardian form. A pure defensive form that focuses on raw defense. And he missed me. Nice. Where is he going from? That away. Thank you. Good. <clears throat> Boom! Oh god. That hurt. Ah, there you go. But we're good still, don't worry. So yeah, Guardian Form is a little tricky to use. If you can actually guard right, you can unleash a powerful counter attack. It's... Other techs, if used in combination well enough, can be good, but its main dr draw on power is the ability to guard at the right times. It's, of course, again, tricky to do, but it is well worth the payoff if you can actually get it right. And this fight's over before his HP even hits zero. Hey. Well, that's because he decides to flee for now. He's not gonna bother with us <clears throat> yet. I mean, that See is later. technically a final boss level enemy. See you later. Do you expect to beat a final boss level enemy that this early into the game? Thanks, yeah. Thanks, Sora. Hey, Wait, are you serious? <laughs> Some games let you do You're it. You're nuts. Some games let you do it. Plus, this game is possible at level 1, so... I mean, it is possible, but it's hard from what I've heard at level 1 from most of the other people. Like, really hard until they can fix some of the things, a.k.a. the link spam. <laughs> and I'm not saying they should... Well, yes, I'm saying they should make links a bit weaker or less spammable. Like, either nerf links... Man, or give you larger MP for cr critical mode so that you don't have to silly. rely on them. And definitely, on definitely get rid of the half damage you deal. Which is? Well, hey, actually, so I heard you like chip damage. Roxas? No, I don't <laughs> like chip damage. And I know you don't either. I, don't know any Roxas. <laughs> I know, but I was quoting uh, Square. It was a one-for-one one, uh, quote. Osaka team themselves. Yeah, that that could be good as well. I think that's something they eliminate to one or what each profile is good. I think that's even something they did for summons for each summon in Kingdom Hearts at one. Like you could only use each summon once. You couldn't like spam Tinkerbell. If you use Tinkerbell once movies? and she's gone, you couldn't you, you couldn't use her anymore. That or with how they did Let the summons in Kingdom Hearts two down. also works. Either or is a good idea. Really? Mm -hmm. Kingdom Hearts one and two sure, had like the, the good cool way to guy. do summons. Three unfortunately kind of makes them yeah. a little too powerful yes. and Great. well Meow Wow isn't the strongest of the summons. Then maybe. Other folks did too. There is one Sorry, or two that are extremely broken. The three of us will cover places in town. Thanks. Oh yeah, I got this phone thingy that takes pictures. <laughs> Not even basically, you would be unkillable. <laughs> That's why I. Some could argue that's this. That's why it's not good for Kingdom Hearts 2, but Kingdom Hearts 2 summons use your drive gauge along with your form, so you actually have to think which do you need at the time, summons or drive forms. 
Oops. And no Donald and Goofy. How unfortunate. You drew the short straw. It's okay. I'm sitting out of the photo with you, Donald. Temper, temper, Donald. <laughs> Everybody smile. <laughs> thanks, Donald. Wow. Yeah, thanks for ruining the picture with an angry face. <laughs> Oh yeah, these. Lucky emblem. Oh yeah, they are huge right now. Supposedly these things are hidden all over town. And if you get a picture of them, it's too bad uh this one doesn't count. Yeah, you're going to have to retake it. So guys, is that You're right. So yeah, getting the lucky emblems actually can Reward you with good items and sometimes very good equipment if you can keep up with them. Not can it will. I will also warn people who want to get the secret ending. These lucky items are tied to it. There's 90 in total. If you're playing on proud, you only need 30 of them. If you're playing on no standard, you'll need 60. If you're playing on critical, you'll need zero. And if you're playing on beginner. Have fun finding them all! Thank god I didn't. Hey man, you get some nice rewards for getting all of them. I mean, yeah, you it's still good to find them all. <laughs> I see, first one was a A plus. Also, we can finally send our postcards here. Uh, really quick to note, you can see how um, the outline was yellow. Of the lucky emblem. If the outline is red, it won't count. Yeah, you'll have to make sure it's yellow. I'm just discarding all my postcards because I need them here. Also, before we actually continue on around town a bit. Rip, couldn't get it. We can make some stuff there. And they also have phone missions that you can actually do that you'll need to take pictures of certain things or enemies to do to get more synthesis options. I might do these, but I don't remember how good some of them are. I think it's a bit silly that it's a riddle and then it just tells you specifically what it wants down at the bottom. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I guess that's because some people can't understand riddles. Uh... Even me, that's someone that can usually figure out puzzles, I had to kind of struggle sometimes. But yeah, those who played Union Cross can remember upgrading Keyblades. This is the hey. Keyblade Forge where you can upgrade your Keyblades. And off screen, I upgraded both of them, which is why they're a little bit stronger. But basically, if you have upgrades like such here, you can upgrade them. And voila, it's now a little bit stronger. Huzzah! Magic Some... increased by one. I am going to be doing this constantly off screen for each of my keyblades even though it's going to be a slow grind but that's because i want them to be a little bit stronger so hopefully i don't struggle like that fight there even though i use links to show off was admittedly one of the ones that i have trouble with <laughs> so you may have that's noticed one where i started um not only did the keyblade power up it also gained an ability yeah, some, at my certain levels, they'll get abilities. And the abilities are nice. This comes into play of something I wanted to also say, because there is actually two DLC ver DLC Keyblades you can get in this game, depending on your version. Both PS4 and Xbox One versions have the Dawn Till Dusk Keyblade. And if you're playing the PS4, you can get the Midnight Blue. If you're playing the P Xbox One, you can get the Phantom Green. But to get both of them, it costs around $6. $5.98. Close enough to 6 in my book, rounded. If you get both, you can do the five you can do the $5.98 combo. Which to me is not really worth it. It's cool, but I gave some thoughts like not really worth it. I'm 
You show me some cool keyblade switching and I'd rather use better keyblades than those because they really don't they really do not offer much other than allowing you to cast like Fyraza and Blizzard as a or Thundaza early. Hey man, being able to cast uh not cast, being able to use uh Ars Arcanum three times in a row against a very specific fight at a very specific point in the fight is pretty neat, question mark? <laughs> sort of, but I'm just, I guess I'm not the fan that they just used second form as well with no stat alterations. Yeah. That's my main beef with it. Yeah. Yeah, if you notice, we've already pretty much at this point covered all of how of Twilight Town right now, except for the mansion. Like, this is the entire length of the town. This entire small bit up until you get to around here to go to the mansion. This is all of the town. Yep. Do you want to say the complaints that everyone else was saying, Bokta, since you share them? I want to explore the town. Let me go up the clock tower. Let me take pictures of the entire town from the clock tower, please. Please. I mean, I'm not. I guess I'm not please. bothered by it because I personally just never cared that much for small areas. Let me go into the, the sandlot. Time I, the only time I cared for small areas, small world areas, was Olympus, but that's because. They reused the whole Colosseum motif with it way too much. <laughs> I kind of felt this is redundant. Okay. This is your punishment, Donald. <laughs> oh no, Donald's uh, screwed us all over. I guess I'm not bothered by it. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind if they updated it, the world to have it, but then again, this kind of is pushing the game already to its limit with how much they have in here already. <laughs> like, from what I've actually read, apparently some of the frame rate issues are not an issue on, like, the uh, better versions of the PS4 and Xbox One, like the Pro and S or X. That makes sense, considering they're literally, they literally have better hardware. <laughs> I had I had some on on my PS4, but uh, they weren't like too bad. I mean, there's only one world I really got. A lot of the frame rate issues with only one world in particular, but we are not going to go to that world <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> also, you don't have to worry, I will not be going after every lucky emblem on each new world, nor will I take us all back on recording to get the lucky emblems at Olympus. I will do Olympus off screen. And any I missed will be off screen. Well, time to get every lucky emblem and every single treasure chest. I've been trying to do that in most of the LPs, and I always seem to miss like seven or fewer. <laughs> <laughs> I've given up on collecting uh, every everything first run through. Well, I kind of only do that when I'm. Recording. Otherwise, I'm like, man. <laughs> yeah, deep, deep jungle. Uh, it's a thing that doesn't exist. And look, it's our good old friends, the monkeys. They're back. Completely retconned. Well, there is reason, of course, why deep jungle doesn't exist anymore. <laughs>
Sora actually learned Cure, like he learned most other abilities at the Colosseum. My new cannon. Did, did we actually learn Cure? Did we actually learn Cure at the Colosseum? I can't remember. Uh, in KH1, we learned it at Deep Jungle. No, so I meant in this game. Oh, uh, no, I don't. No, pretty sure not. Also, yes, yeah, some people do skip the animation of frames for he here, but I don't know. I don't mind the animation frames for the, the form changes. I, I love the, I love the animations. They're great. Ah, okay. So everybody's saying you learned uh, cure here. You now know cure. I guess I better equip it sometimes. Maybe. Also, I'm going to just say this. The finisher for Counter Shield sucks. Yep. Not because it doesn't deal good damage. Well, it probably doesn't, but I don't like the awkward camera zooming angles of it. <laughs> yep. The camera goes nuts when you're in this. <laughs> yep. Oh. Give me that, Alexander. That one ability that comes with Take it. Care. Leaf Bracer? Oh, right. Leaf Bracer. My said, let me refresh. We'll be back. Oh, yep. I think it was on my side. It's good. Whoa. It's good. Where did I get these mini. mini uh, yes. Where did these two extra viewers come How from? Holy crap, hey! Sorry for that. I don't know why today I'm having stream issues with connection. I have all the wires in place and they should be fine. If it disconnects again, I might have to rearrange the wires in hopes that nothing breaks. Next stop. <laughs> I agree, it's final here. Uh, I doubt I'll be the biggest, honestly. I don't even know who the biggest is. All I know is that it was a guy named Ninja before he moved to Mixer. Mm. I'm not moving to Mixer, by the way. I don't pay enough attention to Twitch. <laughs> hey, large body. Hey, friend. I remember when these guys used to be difficult. Oh, yeah, KH1, they were the worst. Also, here's something cool you could do with the form changes. Was that we're not in a form anymore? Yep, you can store your form changes. It's great. I'll help you find the next one. And, and it begins. Really Begin what begins? I'll help you find the next one. I mean, that's not as bad as some of the things that will later be said. <laughs> it's not, but uh it's one of the things. Yeah, we haven't gotten to the super meme. I almost want to contact Everglow for a joke I want to do for one of the videos when it goes up on YouTube. <laughs> oh, that was the wrong button. Uh, there's my water. Hey, second floor. Whoop. I was trying to grab that. I really should put cure on. Where'd they go? See you later. Ah. Well, you can equip cure now. Oh, never mind. 
Yeah, I should equip cure. I'm still gonna play it smart and actually keep a potion on hand, or at least a healing item. But I'm also gonna do something interesting and make sure all my shortcuts have the potion and cure on it. So basically, B and Y will be two different things that I'll be using each time, and I'll just shuffle between them. That's just, I'm not sure if some people like doing things that way. It, it works for me, because at least it ensures each of my shortcut slots, I have a healing option. Oh man, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, enemies that despawn don't fully heal anymore. That was also in Dream Drop, and it was great. And here, it's equally great. Because it's so easy to accidentally despawn enemies. Yeah, because it's... are some of the biggest world areas in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Like, these worlds are huge. Fluorite. Upgrade materials. I mean, we're not going to be able to upgrade any more, because uh, both of them are upgrading. They now want the Damascite, which we can't get yet. Yeah. It's okay, we'll be able to use that fluorite soon anyway. Soon-ish. Soon, TM. Now, my only question is, I don't remember if I got all of uh, the hidden Mickeys. I think I got all of them now. I could be missing one. I'm just forgetting. <laughs> uh, I think I can think of one that you've missed. Which one was that? One, The one on the train. Oh, right. That one. I completely <laughs> forgot there was a one on the train. Yep. We'll get one of on the easiest out. ones to miss. Choo choo. All right. Um, I'll actually be right back. All right. Yep. Into the mansion we go. Feels like we haven't been here in a while. Well, fact is we haven't. What? What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. Now that was a scare. Oh, what? Did I scare you? bad. So how did it go? Did you get any leads? Nope. Afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep. This old mansion is our last. Yeah. Home. No one else knows about Roxas. Figures. You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. Yeah. Ah, thank God we don't have to go to the mansion again, though. Salt ice cream, right? Okay, I'm in. Let's get that transporter working. Ugh. Oh no, uh, we got a problem this time. Oh man. Oh, please don't be another Transport MCP. Protected. Protected I don't what? want to go to Tron Road again. We're done we with both movies. Why not? It worked before. 
We sent Sora there. Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Plus, I don't think there's any plot right. line for future Tron movies at the moment. Well, they might just reboot the series. Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah. But how'd you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. Hmm. You know, hey, a familiar one. the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Oh God, no! God, no! I like recording the game, but I don't like following it because it's pointless. <laughs> Recoded did not need to exist. Yeah, Sora obviously, as everyone knows, not tech savvy. Oh, hi there. This is Pence. Sora's an idiot. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup, but I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so I uh, can't run it. Which program? Uh, the transporter to the other Twilight Town. And I have returned. As we've talked about Sora being an idiot. Nice. Sounds about par for the course. Okay. <laughs> a virtual town in South <laughs> Oh, speaking of recoded, um, I was at a bookstore some days ago, and I found a novel for recoded. <laughs> I didn't finish the Kingdom Hearts one novel I still have here, but recoded the novel. <laughs> Why is there a recoded the novel? Yup, it has a novel. Why? Oh, uh, yup. <laughs> Please tell me there's a day's novel. Bull. I didn't buy it. There, there were two, so I could buy it. Um. Please tell me there's a day's novel. I would rather read a day's novel. I'm pretty sure there's a day's novel. I would, I would love a day's novel. Um. Dude, we have to read again. I would get one for both of us. <laughs> I need to finish. The there's two recoded novels. I could get one for both of us. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, honestly, for for the Kingdom Hearts novel, I'd rather just finish reading one, get Chain of Memories, get two, get Days, get Birth by Sleep, get three, done. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Um, <laughs> get the best character. Get Ch get Kai if they have it. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Let's see, a question was asked earlier while I was not here, so I'm as much as I absolutely love King Hearts 2, I'm gonna have to say form changes. Oh god, that face! <laughs> okay. Rivaled only by his laugh. What was the question? Um, you Kirby asked. Drive or form cages. Yeah. I honestly like form cages a lot more because that one you can actually store multiple forms in it between three and you could just switch around them. So after finishing one, you could easily switch to the other and still deal good damage. Yeah. I would also have to say form changes. As much as I love the adds, drive forms. It adds a. Drive forms are powerful, but you're limited to only one all the time. This one, you're limited to three different forms, and it allows you to mix different combinations if you know well. Even as people showed, actually switch between them on the fly really quick, which I've been trying to do. That is freaking hard to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Like, I've been trying to switch from, say... Guardian form to second form on the fly, but that is tough. <laughs> oh no, don't even joke about that. No! <laughs> oh. oh man. I was much not like Vexen as a villain, that's just like a no. Oh my brain, why? <laughs> I think you burned both our brains and hearts. <laughs> even more HD. Uh, 
And just like that, Bleach was driven to the darkness and became a heartless. Uh, well, you also became one. <laughs> Fool. Hey, man, I have I I have a proper nobody, so uh, I'm fine. Right. What's your proper nobody? Uh. Dusk number seven hundred forty-five. Right. <laughs> so, you think you can bring Roxas back? The very specific. What's very funny about that is that there's actually a idea of, of that in the Kingdom Hearts manga. I remember reading Kingdom Hearts two that Dexon apparently made a million clones of himself. Oh man. Well, not maybe a million, but he made like a lot, like probably over 70 or so. Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Also, uh, for some of the viewers, it appears it marked some of them offline, hence why the view count has dropped, so I don't know how Twitch does that sometimes. It sometimes switches people offline or online, so... Twitch's viewer thing count has always been screwed up. Well, it also depends on some users, because I've had some cases that I was online and it changed my Twitch account. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're back. We're back. We're back. It's reconnected. I adjusted some of the wires around a bit more. Hopefully this will not disconnect it. It seems to be fine. Set your heart free. Wait. Yeah. So I about that. Hopefully. It's not darkness. Not a lot is lost, but we'll see. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> yep, I lost guardian form. Whoops. So well. Man at that rate. Uh... Oh jeez. Oh come on. <laughs> oh, okay, fine, your shadows. Those things suck. Oh jeez, I am. Oh god, you. Oh uh, yeah, they are pretty bad. The cage one Neo shells are pretty bad. Thank god I'm not actually afraid of using <laughs> fire now because critical mode thankfully did nerf magic a lot. <laughs> He's a special heartless for annoying. Bleach can personally attest to one of those. Which one was it again? I can't remember. I don't remember what it was called, but it was the snipe the sniper one. The sniper uh Oh the sniper wild. Yeah. In Travers. Yeah, I dislike those. <laughs> Oh, I think I would do that one. <laughs> ah. Uh, that little one's a little anno annoying too, but it's not that big.